Okay, today we're going to be touring Tanager Luxury Apartments in Summerlin. These have been open since 2019, but that over to the right is actually the new phase that they are building. So she was just kind of taking me on the golf cart. It's going to be a total of 500 and some odd units. This is the second or two bedroom rather that was um the entrance and you basically get like a full 360 open view when you very first walk in i took it all the way back to the beginning so you guys can get a good feel for that so there's like a little entryway there and then of course they have the kind of like hvac situation i don't like when they have that exposed but whatever this is the coat closet and now we are into the kitchen we're back here again lots of natural lighting depending on obviously where you're facing but Again, nice open living room, space for a dining area. They even have the washer and dryer over there to the left. Um, I really liked the uh, size of the windows. I like that it came all the way down there so you can see into the patio area, as you see there. And that is a king size bed, if you're wondering. And this is the master saying hi to y'all. And the closet was pretty cool. I, I like that it was, although it was narrow, it did have like quite a good amount of space in my opinion um, especially for las vegas um, there is the linen closet and then of course the stand-in shower um, i really really liked what they did with the patio because it really gives you a lot of room if you're on the first floor and i think we're going to take a look at that in a little bit um, but this is the guest bathroom lots of cabinet space you do have a tub so if you are sh not sharing then you have option to also take a bubble bath and this would be more of an office setup to me the closet is really not that big and then on the outside they have these trash rooms they call them the trash rooms it's where you would put your um, trash can and they pick it up five times a week and now we are actually on the first bedroom i think yeah this is a one bedroom and this is the patio i think she wanted to show me what the courtyard view look like i really like that i got to see an empty unit this time to get a feel for what that looks like without furniture in it uh this is the coat closet it's an interesting place to put a coat closet but it still works uh for the layout that's the entrance over there of course and this is washer and dryer so all the units have full size washer and dryers i don't like that the little uh, water heater thing is right there i always think that's very tacky especially for a luxury property and for the price point on um on these um so lots of cabinet space gas stove of course uh black counter tops i think the kind of tops are uh, black or at least the cabinets are black anyway so it's just a darker look this is the bedroom i did think that this was a nice closet side as well it's not narrow um it's more wider and then just like a square space like a rectangular and that is what really sold me about this particular floor plan i've always loved when there's a entrance to the patio from the bedroom it just gives you that extra access in case you don't really want to be in the living room area um the bedroom is like a triangular shape as you're seeing here and then it just leads you right back out to the living area and now we are in the restroom because it is a one bed you do have the option to have the bath so it's kind of like an all-in-one shower so you do have like both of those there and i like that little pillar to like put your stuff on as well as like put your legs on if you're going to shave it so those are, you know, those are little details that I enjoy. This is like the common area, you would say. It's kind of like uh, the clubhouse, you would say. I didn't get everything because there were people in the frame and I didn't want to make anyone uncomfortable. But they do have like a sitting area. They have where you can shoot pool. Now we're walking to the gym and we're going to see that in just a second here. I thought it was an ample size. There was nothing to it. It was just a regular size gym. It was nothing really impressive. Again, my expectations are different because of where I currently live. Keep that in mind. Um, but it is a nice uh, property altogether. It is a resort style pool, as you see here. We have like the cabanas, then they have like the day bed looking things there. The residents definitely use the amenities. I would say that I, I've never done a tour and seen this many people just like out and about. And that was the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and comment below other properties that you'd like for me to tour in the future. Thanks for watching.